Hey guys, welcome to episode 7 of Let's Lose Weight Together. It's episode 7 already. Wow, time has flown so quickly. Right guys, so today's video is going to be so interesting. I'm bringing to you Dr. Barbara O'Neill. She's going to be exposing four shocking weight loss secrets that you should be using and that's what I'm using as well and that's why I'm able to lose this weight this week and in fact from the day I started on the 5th of August right. I'm excited to show you guys what this video is about but before I do let me introduce myself. Hi my name is Jennifer. I'm on a weight loss journey just like you right. On this channel we do everything about weight loss. I bring good things to you guys <laughs> i try to help you guys and also help myself to lose weight and that's what we do on this channel so if you're new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in is episode seven guys episode seven already so that means seven weeks of me trying to lose weight and every week guys every week has been going down my weight has been going down every single week so i'm definitely doing something right so you need to listen to me okay <laughs> right guys so in this video i need you guys to pay attention right she explains every single weight loss secrets that you should be definitely be using okay so i need you to pay attention so what i'm going to do i'll play some of our videos and then i will explain it to you i kind of break it down for you know like you know like i'm having a conversation with you to make it quite simple for you to understand what she's saying she's coming from the side of an expert i'm coming from a side of a normal girl that is trying to lose weight just like you okay so i'm gonna break it down for you guys to understand so let's get into it we're going to be talking about weight loss. One of the best things that you can do for weight loss is changing the times that you eat, that makes a big difference. And changing the food you eat makes a huge difference. 63% of Australians are either overweight or obese. I think that America's not far behind. Right, so this is Dr. Barbara O'Neill. She's big on natural and holistic health. And many people have had success with her methods. Like I said earlier, she'll be sharing four foods and tips to help you lose weight quickly. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you don't miss the best eating habit for weight loss. One of the best things that you can do for weight loss is to eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a queen, and then tea like a pauper, or you call it uh, supper, yeah? And as one lady said to me, well, what do paupers eat? I said, sometimes nothing. So Dr. Barbara suggests that if you want to lose weight, you need to eat a big breakfast, a big lunch, and a small Dinner. So the idea is that during the day when you're more active, your body needs more energy. But at night, since you're not moving around very much, you don't need as much fuel. So by eating less at night, you avoid having less sugar sitting in your body when you are not burning it off, which helps with weight loss. What many people are doing today, they eat breakfast like the pauper, they eat lunch like the pauper, and the tea or the supper is the king and the queen together. So a lot of people eat big dinners and that's not good at night because we're not active. So when we eat heavy meals in the evening, the body ends up with too much sugar that it doesn't use up. Instead of burning it as energy, the body stores it as fat, which leads to weight gain. So Dr. Barbara says that this habit is one of the reasons why people gain weight. So having big meals late in the day when we're not moving around very much just turns into extra fat in our body. So it's not good to eat late at night. For example, if you have like a big plate of pasta or rice and then you spend the rest of your night watching tv all those extra energy that your body did not use end up getting stored as fats so instead eating lighter at night helps you to prevent that that we eat breakfast as our main meal that we have a main meal in the middle of the day and then if anything's eaten at night make it very light so next is to reduce your carbohydrate intake and that number one is the food that we're eating and it's the high carbohydrate diet 
that many people are eating today. So Dr. Barbara recommends cutting down on carbs if you want to lose weight because eating too much carb is a big reason why people gain weight. When you eat a lot of carbs, your body turns them into sugar. And if you don't burn that off, it gets stored as fat. So to lose weight, it's really important to reduce on how much carbs that you're eating. So some of the common foods that are high in carbs are your breads, your pasta, potatoes, and sugary snacks. For example, if you're used to eating a lot of bread, with your meals or having pasta for dinner try switching to smaller portions or replacing them with more vegetables or protein which is something i've always spoken about in all different episodes of my videos so that way you're not overloading your body with carbs so bread bread is very common cereal and we're just going to say cakes etc because if we say everything when you go into muffins and croissants and donuts and pasties and pies and pastries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what's happening on this high carbohydrate diet, people have eliminated the fat and they're eating lots and lots and lots of this, not realizing that that excess glucose, once we've filled up the energy cycle, we've filled up the glycogen stores and so now the body sends it to the fat cells. So a lot of people try to lose weight by cutting out fats, but they still eat a lot of carbs. But what they don't realize is that the extra sugar from carbs eventually gets stored in the body as fat anyway. So they don't know that. So Dr. Barbara explains that when you eat too much carbs, your body turns the extra sugar into fat and this type of fat can be dangerous this type of fat usually builds up in your hips your thighs your arms your belly and it can even get into your internal organs which is harmful for your health for example if you're eating a lot of bread pasta sugary snacks even if you avoid fatty foods that extra sugar will still turn into fat and eventually stores in your body especially in those problem areas in fact it's one of the most dangerous fats because what the body does is it stores it in the probably areas of the body that's not used a lot, maybe the arms, the belly, the, the hips, the, the thighs. And then when that all gets, when that gets filled up, then it starts to go to the internal organs, weigh, weighing them down. So another high carbohydrate food that Dr. Barbara advises is wheat. Dr. Barbara also suggests that we need to cut back on wheat. Yes, because a lot of wheat that we eat these days is hybridized. Okay, hybridized means it's been genetically altered to grow faster, altered to grow faster or to yield more. So the modified wheat can actually cause your blood sugar to spike very quickly, sometimes even more than our regular sugar. So when your blood sugar goes up like that, your body ends up with extra sugar, the glucose. And if you don't burn it off, it gets stored as fats, which obviously would lead to weight gain. Like for example, if you're eating a lot of foods made with wheat, like your bread, your pasta, your baked goods your body could be getting more sugar than you think even if you're not having desserts that extra sugar can quickly quickly turn into fat especially around our belly area or our thighs use replacements for the wheat because as we looked at in diabetes this morning in the hybridization of the wheat they change the starch structure and it gets the blood sugar level up <coughs> higher than even refined sugar okay so just a friendly reminder guys please give me a thumbs up give me a like if i'm providing the value so far and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed so next is intermittent fasting when done the right way when we put food in our stomach we should now leave it let it do its work after about an hour and a half two hours start sipping on some water then you don't water down your hydrochloric acid. It takes three and a half to four hours to digest a meal. So Dr. Barbara is a big supporter of intermittent fasting if you're trying to lose weight. She suggests cutting down on snacks and desserts between your meals. Those little bites between your meals can add up and keep your body from fully resting 
and digesting properly. She also recommends drinking water about two hours after you finish eating to help balance the acid in your stomach, which is the hydraulic acid, which helps break down the food in your stomach. It takes your stomach about three to four hours to digest a meal. So Dr. Barbara advises to give your stomach a bit more time to rest. This rest period allows your digestive system to get recharged and get ready for the next meal, which obviously helps you with weight loss. For example, instead of snacking on chips or candy between your meals, try having a glass of water or tea and let your body digest fully before your next meal. This will give your digestive system a break and help you avoid extra calories. But when someone has a balanced meal, which is shown here, it takes about three and a half to four hours to digest and then the stomach loves a one hour rest let your stomach have a rest between meals <coughs> and in that rest time it has time to revive and restore and replace the digestive enzymes it used at the last meal so intermittent fasting is a great way to manage how much food you eat in a day by eating only during certain hours you're naturally eating less which helps to control your calorie intake when you reduce the amount of calories you're taking it can actually help you lose weight for example if you eat only between 12 p.m and 7 p.m or 8 p.m you're more likely to skip snacks or extra meals so in this way you're eating fewer calories without even thinking about it which can make it easier to lose weight next is fat free diet is dangerous fat is essential the fat free diet is a dangerous diet there are fats that'll kill and there are fats that'll heal and because there are some killer fats they've all been dumped in the same basket what are the killer fats, the altered fats? So Dr. Barbara says that cutting out on fat completely is dangerous because fats are actually an important part of a healthy diet. So not all fats are bad like people sometimes think. So she explains that there are good fats and there are bad fats and it's the bad ones that we should avoid. For example, some harmful fats come from seed oil like um, sunflower oil, peanut oil, soybean oil. These oils go through a lot of processing with high heat and chemicals, which messes up with the structure and makes them unhealthy. So they can actually damage things like your arteries, which is bad for your health. On the other hand, healthy fats from avocados, olive oils, and nuts are really good for your body. So instead of avoiding all fats, it's better to choose the right ones. So there's clear plastic bottles that have got sunflower oil, peanut oil, <laughs> soy oil. Don't touch them. They're the oils that can help to damage the arterial wall. They're the dangerous oils. And your deep fried foods. If you do fry any food, it should be always in a saturated fat because saturated fat is heat resistant and light resistant. So Dr. Barbara also advises to avoid deep fried food because they can be bad for your health and they can also lead to weight gain. If you really need to fry your food, she suggested that you should use saturated fats or oils because they can handle heat better and won't get damaged like other oils do. For example, olive oil or coconut oil are good choices for frying because they are more stable and they won't break down easily under high heat. She also points out that it's not the fat itself that makes us gain weight. It's about choosing the right type of fat. So if you're frying your food using oils like coconut oil is much healthier than your regular vegetable oil. You see, it's not the fat that makes you fat. It's actually these refined carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are not bad. What a relief, we like them. The problem is when they're overdone and refined. That's the problem, when they're overdone and refined. Glucose burns at four calories per gram, whereas fat, it burns at nine calories per gram. Okay, so here's the deal. Glucose, your sugar, which comes from carbohydrates, which is your carbs, gives you about four calories for every grams you eat. On the other hand, fats gives you nine calories per gram. So this means that fats actually provides more energy 
than glucose does, than sugar does. So for example, if you eat 10 grams of sugar, you get 40 calories from it. But if you eat 10 grams of fat, you get 90 calories from it. So including healthy fats in your diet can give you more energy overall compared to just eating carbs. But what the people don't understand is what a calorie is. Calorie is a unit of energy. And if you want a high energy food, what do you eat? Ah, uh, fat, fat. <laughs> it's gonna give you more than twice the units of energy compared to glucose. But if you're eating more calories than you can burn, yes, it's going to be stored. So guys, the key point to remember here is that we shouldn't eat more calories than our body needs. If we take in more calories than we burn, our body will store that extra calories as fat. For example, if you need 2000 calories a day and you eat 2500 calories, your body will store that extra 500 calories as fat. So it's important to keep track of what you're eating and make sure you don't go over your calorie needs to avoid gaining weight. So in summary guys, when it comes to losing weight, it's not just about cutting out on certain food. It's about making healthier choices. Dr. Barbara talked about fewer calories, making healthy choices, choosing healthy fats, practicing intermittent fasting to help manage how much you eat. And remember, the most important thing is not taking too much calories than your body needs so that you don't store extra fat. Having a balanced diet is very important when you're trying to lose weight. Everything in moderation is key. Portion control is key no matter what you're eating, okay? So let us know in the comments below. Feel free to share your habits, your tips, your thoughts in the comments, okay? So we can all learn from each other's experiences. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely see you guys next week in episode eight of let's lose weight together bye guys